Hey guys, this is Full Stuffing Incorporated, and I'm here to talk about Cosmo today. And I, yes, I feel like that this deck is very, very, very underrated. Not necessarily under the radar, but I'm saying underrated. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about it in detail. This deck is a very reactive deck by nature. Considering that your monsters can advance themselves during your player's turns, so it's pretty much immune to most hand traps. So the pilots by nature are probably immune to hand traps, aside from Gamma. And the ships cannot be targeted, or the larger ones at least, and every ship floats to avoid your Cosmos and they're destroyed. And they banish themselves to get retrieved by Cosmos Hound, which is still one of the most ridiculous field spells to date. And also, this deck is pretty much immune to most hand traps at this point, because you're that Ghost Durger cannot hit the pilots, unless they don't have a ship to... Unless they don't have a ship to get up to, I mean, like, Straw Man being able to summon a ship that's banished, but it'd be destroyed by Ghost Durger, that kind of thing. That's pretty situational, though. Then there's Seven Year Gamma, which is uh, it's a big problem for the deck. If you're, I mean, if you ban if you negate a ship that's banishing itself, then that's a big problem. But if it's on the field, no big deal. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just address this deck's matchups. You know, like Pendulum Magicians. Pendulum Magicians are going to be a pretty rough matchup if you deal with Beals or Ignister early on, because Ignister can it's non-targeting. The spinning effect is insane, and I freaking hate it. I am sorry, but I freaking hate the fact that Nister can do that to Cosmo. Just because, like, whenever I play Cosmo, I come across Pendulum Magicians. When I come across Pendulum Magicians, I come across Ignister, and it sucks. And also, Beals is a pretty hard matchup, too. Unless you have Cosmojo, which you should run multiples of, by the way, then you're gonna have a hard time. I mean, you can pull out Infinity with this deck, depending on the build you're using, but what can you really do against Beals outside of using cards you can hardly search sometimes and use immediately? And that's the hard part. But if you can deal with Ignister, if you can deal with Beals, then you have a pretty decent matchup. And this deck can run the viruses too. In fact, they run they can run deck devastation. They can run full force. They can run any of the viruses aside from aside from Crush Card for the most part. I mean, you should run Crush Card anyway. But this deck can have a pretty good matchup. And also, this deck are anti-spell fragrance if you're really that worried about the Pendulum matchup. Or the Spiral matchup, which I will get into. The Spiral matchup, it's... Uh, I don't know. It has advantages and it has its disadvantages. Spirals can easily go off turn one and just not care. I mean, Fireball Dragon can target your higher ships. And neither can Spiral Sleeper. But they can also actively run that equip spell, which can banish your ships so they destroy another monster in battle. And that's going to be a hard thing for Cosmo to get around. Especially since they have no, near no natural way to deal with Spiral Sleeper, equipped with Last Resort, it's kind of a stalemate there. I mean, it's a tough matchup to say the least. I mean, if they go first, you are, you're in a, tight pickle there, but if they, if they negate your monster's effects to summon themselves, some more cosmos from the hand, you're gonna have a rough time. I'm just gonna let you know that right now, but if you can actually run anti spell fragrance, like I said before, in Pendulum Magician matchup, you should have a pretty good chance against them. I mean, if you go first, and if you get your floodgates, you have to open the complete nuts, but I'm saying, like, just open pretty good, get your traps, get your viruses especially, you should have a pretty good matchup then. So, yeah, that's my... Send me for the spiral matchup. Then here's where crap hits the fan. Trick stars. Trick stars, man. Trick stars. Where can I even begin? This deck, uh, to say the least, it's probably the most confusing matchup because they have many different ways to play. They have different cards they can use. They have so many different ways to play. It's hard to pinpoint how to deal with them. And considering how many different cards they can run, they can run the Solemns, they can run the they can run countless hand traps without so much as hindering their engine. And that's going to be the trickiest part of this matchup. Considering that they almost never care about the Cosmo ships themselves. And the fact that you can burn yourself easy, considering that you're paying life points for your psychic monsters to get their abilities, and get cards back with Cosmo Town on top of the burn damage you're getting from Trick Stars. It's going to be a pretty tough matchup, dude. And I just think that you can run Skill Drain in the side, maybe even in the main. But if you open a virus, you can win the game most of the time. 
But if you don't, you're going to have a hard time getting around this deck. It's pretty tricky. I'm just going to say that right now. I don't know. I, I can't say that you, you would win de indefinitely with Cosmo or you would lose indefinitely with tri the Trickstar, but I'm just saying it's a tricky matchup, and you should be wary and try to work yourself to try to deal with this deck. I mean, if you can side, like, deck devastation viruses on top of that, on top of your board or build that typically runs full force virus now, because of Cosmo Dogfighter, which is a very good strategy, by the way, you are clever, Asian Persuasion, then yeah, you should have a pretty good chance against them if you open at least one virus. Okay, and as for the rest of the matchups, they speak for themselves. Paleozoic... They can deal with them pretty well if they can open, like, a Solemn or something, which they can run, by the way. And they've got quite a bit of advantages over Paleozoics anyway, because they can't banish their hard, larger ships, and they can they lose pretty hard to Dark Eclipster. But you can you can work your way around that if you're a Paleozoic player. Just be wary of anything that may negate your pilots. And as for Masterpiece Turbo... Pure Cosmo, many variant the Cosmo can run honest. I mean, if you're really that concerned about Masterpiece Turbo, which is not very prevalent, by the way, you can sign, like, one or two copies of Honest. You can see how Masterpiece targets with this ability, instead of with spells and traps. You can banish your pilots to bigger ships, and the bigger ships can't be targeted anyway. So, you have a pretty good matchup there. You just have to make sure that you can swing over Masterpiece, at least, just so you can continue on with your advantageous plays. And the virus cards can hurt them pretty bad. You just have to run Eradicator openly if you want to just call spells and completely nuke their nuke their hand, which is pretty funny to think about, actually. I might do that. But, you know, I just wanted to tell you guys how they can play this format. I think Cosmo can do pretty good with the right build. I mean, I'm not going to sound like any of those uh, any of those players can play and say, Oh, I didn't open this card or this card in the deck, I would have won it. No. I'm going to tell you guys right now that I don't play like that. I just play for fun, that kind of stuff. But I'm letting you guys know how Cosmo can play in this format. And because I play casually, it doesn't mean I don't, know how I play, don't know how I play competitively. So, yeah, that's my evaluation on Cosmo today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, join the fight for ARMY, and together we will beat the meta. Talk to you guys next time. Hope you enjoy my next video. But until then, take care of yourselves.